Babe, we've been over this many times. There's a specific way of stacking these bales so that they don't fall over. I wasn't stacking the bales. I was trying to get one off the top for Valentine and then they all fell on me. You should use a lot over there, silly. Easy for you to say after I was ambushed by a wall of hay bales. Could have told you that before, had you asked the ranch master. What a cute name you've named yourself. Now help me get this bale to Valentine's stable before we go inside and clean up. Whatever you say, princess. Hey girl, guess who's here to see you? And we brought you a big pile of hay. Who's a good girl? Are you hungry? I bet you were, since Savannah couldn't even get a bale down. Whatever, Mr. Ranch Master. Let's clean up and go inside. All right, Valentine. You enjoy that dinner. I'll see you later, girl. Thanks for helping out today. Yeah, no problem. But you weren't the one who had to take off this heavy bales of hay. I told you I wasn't stacking them. <laughs> so, can we discuss something? We are graduating college in just under a year. Yeah, we are. And we're both moving back here for the summer to find jobs. I had this idea. What if we work towards eventually taking over the family ranching business? I mean, I think... You mean instead of finding jobs after college? Yeah, exactly. Your mom sure could use the help, and we could learn a lot these last few weeks of summer before heading back to Berkeley. I don't know, it's just been on my mind lately. I think it could be really good for me and you. Good for us. I mean, taking over the ranch wouldn't necessarily be a bad idea. It is a family-owned business after all, and... I'm sure my mom would be excited to learn that we're even interested in continuing it. I just think it would be a good place for us to put down our roots. I mean, we have roots here already, but I just think it would be a great place to start a family. Family? Come on, don't act surprised. You know this. We talked about it. Unless, in this very moment, you were getting lost in my dreamy eyes and I've totally forgot about everything we've ever dreamed of because I'm just too good looking for you to care. <laughs> oh, shush, you loser. <laughs> Does Trent know you want to stay here after graduation? Trent? Yeah, talk to him about it. I'm sure he was just thrilled to learn that his little brother was still going to be all up in his business. <laughs> Whether he likes it or not, he stuck with me. I feel sorry for him. <laughs> Whoa. All right, crazy person. What time is it? It's midnight. Oh, it's getting late. All right, babe, I should go. I have work early in the morning. Okay, I'll lock you out. <laughs> <laughs> So, did you know that I love, I love you? you. <laughs> I'll call you tomorrow. Should get off for round three. Perfect. Night, love.
thought you'd still be here. You know, we were talking about taking over my family's business and starting a family. We had our whole lives ahead of us. I don't even know what to do now. You have to move forward. I know my brother, I know he'd it's say- It's not about what I was doing. It's about who I was doing it with. See, that's where you're wrong. It was never even about that. It was about doing what made you happy. That's what Luke wanted, was to make you happy. I know. It's just hard to see what that looks like in this moment, from this place. I think you should take over your family's business. I think that's what he would have wanted. You should do it in his memory. Proud. 